Coin Talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Baylor lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Wilson fields at the goal line. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Neils, big play of building, makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches it. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you've got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 39. Not much there on that opening drive. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Runs it at all. Oh, what a hit. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Williams awaits the snap. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Makes the catch and look out, and he's tackled at the 34. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Laterals back. That's a first down here, and I'd love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hands. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He scrambled. He chucks it downfield. Missed him. I mean, he has his wide receiver 
wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. Skinner gains six yards with a short completion. Baldwin awaiting the return. He fields it at the 17. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After a play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. And down he goes, right around the 40. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 37. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. To be able to play great defense in a college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's at midfield. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. He carried that one for a huge gain. You know what? You can see the ball carrier showcase his speed. Once he got into the open field, he just turned on the Jets and flew. From the 43-yard line, first down. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. Man left, man left. Neal gets the call again, and they get nice yardage on that run. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Ten 
Little handoff. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Throws complete and he's hit right away. And this play is number eight on the drive. Under heavy pressure. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT, an eight-play, 69-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Kansas, kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 26. Jayhawks have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, hey, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point. But just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, I'll be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. He rifles it to the left. Has it to the senior. To the 10. And he scores. Touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Baylor is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Let's go! Nice run there. Neal picks up about seven yards on the run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here he goes. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And for Neal, he goes over the 100-yard mark for rushing. You just can't say enough about the job the offensive line has done. They've kept the running lanes open and given him all kinds of space to maneuver. And he hits the PAT. A short two-play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. 
Bell from the four. Makes it to the 22-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the 28-yard line. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it 37. Fires out to his wide This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. from their own 49-yard line. First down. So at the end of one quarter, Kansas leads it 14-7. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Taken down immediately. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 45 yard line. Down at the 42. That'll make it third and one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they make the stop at the 30. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. Second down and 11. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's on the run. And he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Here's the 11th play of the drive. He's under pressure. 
Throws middle to the tight end, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kansas is up four. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Caught open field. And he's tackled right around the 50. Wilson with the tackle at the 50 yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They go to the ground game. Tackle right around the 42 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Big opening. He's at the 30. And he's taken down at the 17. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. The 10, he gets out to about the 8. Kansas holds a four-point lead. Throws complete touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Whoa, he just took a lick it. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Seven yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Good 
job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. Slings it. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. Fights forward to about the 39. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Got hit and still completed it. Just about three yards there. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And he got it. Great snap and a perfect hold. And he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 21-13, Kansas. Hankins has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. Neal's success running the football, Kirk. It's put his team in a great spot right now. They're really controlling the game. Yeah, we expected him to have this kind of game, and he's not really disappointed us in any way. His performance right now, you think, is inspiring his entire team. If they can carry this momentum into the second half, there's really no reason they shouldn't win this game. They come out in a five-wide set. He's knocked out immediately after the catch. First From their own 40 yard line, first down. Kansas holds an eight point advantage. He fights forward to about the 40. He has some room. Gains his way to midfield. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. From the 50, it's first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Got him on the screenplay. He's tackled at the 45. That's a gain of five on one play. That brings him second and five. Man left, man left. Brought down at the 31 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. And they make the stop at the 21 yard line. That's good for a of 10 yards. First down. Neal, again, they bring him down in the backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Kansas, up by eight. Blue 
Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And he's immediately tackled. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kansas is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. down to the backfield. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 22. We've played a half. Kansas leads it 24-13. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy, they're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets to about the 34-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's at midfield. And they finally tackle him at the 38-yard line. That was a good-looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 38 yard line. He's got it with room to run, and he's taken down at the 32 yard line. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Gets it on the pitch. Gets out to about the 31. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. Baylor to kick. Wilson fields it at the one. Brought down at the 41. Jayhawks have put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong. The other team can't do anything right. We're about set to start things up again. Kansas is up by eight. Open receiver drops. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. the 33-yard line. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Baldwin awaiting the return. At the 32, the Jayhawks' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Yeah, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs to do to be successful. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Fires incomplete. Hawkins was the intended receiver on the play. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. Williams is the punter. <laughs> Tackle at the 35-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Kansas holds an eight-point advantage. Some daylight. He's at midfield. Gets to around the 42. First down. Okay. 
First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. He lets it go. Has it to the senior. Tackle at the one-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Did you see how quickly he closed on the ball and broke up that pass? That's what you look for in a safety. They come out in a goal line set. Now, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Touchdown, Kansas! And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 29. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. He's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. That makes it second and eight. run up the gut. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. direction handoff and they get him in the backfield for a loss that's not what you hope for from your running game you're looking for some solid north and south progress you never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence 
Second and 15. Ball on the 42. Nice run there. Richardson picks up five with the carry. This is the ninth play of this drive. Caught out in the open. And he hits him hard at the 28. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. He's going to take off. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They'll knock him down for a loss. He might have a chance. Nice run up the middle. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. Brought down at the 46-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That was a great tackle. The defender seemingly came out of nowhere and put a big hit on the ball carrier. Tackled in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Shoved out of bounds around the 42-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Run left side. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 16. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. From the 12-yard line, second down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. This is the 11th play of this drive. Oklahoma! And 
they make the stop at the two. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 31-16, Kansas. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They come out in a five-wide set. Here they come. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey, guys, it's your turn. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. They're set to go for another round. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's hit and taken down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets it out quickly. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 33. three-yard line. It's first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. From the 18 yard line. First down. Swings it left. He's got his fullback. Tackle around the 13 yard line. That brings him second and five. off inside nice run and he's brought down it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here play fake and looking to run they'll bring him down just outside the goal line Him down in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it 30 goal. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And they're looking to get two points here. He 
He scrambled. And they won't get the two. An eight-play, 71-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Setting up the play action. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball of the 22. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Tackle made at the 38. From their own 38-yard line. First down. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he's flushed and they got him. They'll line it up again on third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he's scrambling. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. it out maybe to the 26 yard line well the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown as long as this quarterback has time to throw and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man pass complete and taken down immediately Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Third down. Tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. So they're going to go for it here. And they're stopped short, and they'll turn it over. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. We're about set to start things up again. Excellent 
Wetzel at open field tackle. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Got an opening. Gets out to around the 12. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. From the 12 yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Jayhawks. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kansas to kick this one off. Reese from the four. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 31 yard line. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. This offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. And not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's hit immediately. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. And a quick throw. And down he goes. Around the 40-yard line. Under pressure. Brought down at the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, it's first down, five wide. Gets it, he's in space. He's tackled around the 18-yard line. from the 18-yard line. First down. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. They line up at the seven. First down. Just under two minutes in the game. Run inside. Stop quickly. to about the 11-yard line.
They'll line up at the 11. It's third down. They come out in a five wide set. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 19. Jayhawks know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.